struggling to sit through ICT's two, three hour long videos, this video is perfect for you. Today we'll be going over chalk or market structure shift as ICT calls it and be breaking it down in literally 10 minutes for you and actually showing you live examples. Right, how we're actually going to identify a valid market structure shift and change of character is a very, 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 very simple yet effective technique that we can use, but it can be a little bit confusing uh, if you're learning this for the first time. Now I'm going to draw sort of a graph now let's say this is price okay you see this this is not a market shift or change of character this is simply just an uptrend right okay you can see there's a little bit of consolidation and then an uptrend but this is not a change of character nor um nor a market structure shift okay now ict does say this specifically so this is not this is just what I just want to give you this example so you guys really can differentiate between the two. This, however, uh, I'm going to give you a bullish scenario first. This, however, is. Now, I'm going to explain why. Let's say we're coming from an order block, okay? Why is this a market shift slash uh, change of character? Because, now let me explain. In a bullish scenario, when the low is taken first and then the high continuation, this is called a market share shift slash uh, change of character, whatever you guys want to call it. The low must be taken first and then the high. So we can see a clear change in price delivery. So I'm actually going to have that written out for you guys, just so you guys can actually take note. Uh, give me one second. So, done. This is a bullish scenario, okay? So, just give it a read. Hopefully, it makes sense to you. Previous low taken, then the high taken. Previous low taken, and then the high taken, and then we get that continuation, okay? So, that's going to be the bullish uh, scenario. Now, I'm going to show you guys a bearish scenario, which is going to be exactly the same, just inverted. So, um... So as you can see here, bearish scenario, previous high taken, then the low taken. Previous high taken, then the low taken, and then we've got the continuation. So this is how you're gonna identify um, change of character and market structure shifts, valid change of character and market structure shifts, or whatever you guys wanna call it, you can call it either one. It's the same thing, ICT calls it market structure shift. But that's how you're gonna use it. Now, another key tip is only use within entry timeframes. We're only going to be using it in entry timeframes, these uh, these two or this one key simple um, setup. It's only going to be used within entry timeframes. Now, there's a lot to it um, in, in terms of parent with your higher time frame analysis coming from order blocks, etc. Now, we do teach the whole strategy within our free Telegram group. So if you do go ahead and join that in below, the link is going to be below. We've got quite a few exciting things coming for you guys. Uh, we're doing giveaways. Going to be teaching all of these strategies one by one, very in depth. Um, but all you got to do is just go ahead and join that. The link is going to be below. But getting back straight to it, I will be teaching you um, just the lower time frame, entry time frames, how to actually use it. All the rest of the stuff is going to be taught within the free Telegram. So let's jump into the live charts and actually give you guys some real examples. We've actually got some uh, examples here, right? First things first, right? We see this high gets taken, okay? Bear that in mind, the high gets taken and then the low gets taken. This is a valid market shot shift and then what follows after is just a continuation um, to drown, okay? Very, very simple. So that's one example. So the high has been taken in a bearish scenario, then the low, then there's a continuation. Now let's look for a bullish scenario. Okay, easy. You guys you guys can pick this out yourself. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna do this. Pause the video and have a look at a bullish scenario, okay? Ready? Okay, pause the video and mark out your uh, mark structure shift or change of character, whatever you guys wanna call it. Now that you guys are back, I'll show you. 
low taken, then the high is taken, and then we have the continuation. And is that valid with our bullish Marksha shift? Bullish previous low taken, then the high. Previous low taken, then the high. Okay? That is how you're going to be using Marksha shift along with your change of character. Now, a little key tip that I will drop in this video is make sure you don't just use this in blank space. This has to be used within higher time frame PD arrays. That's all I'm going to say. Pair it with higher time frame PD arrays. You've got an amazing setup. And we'll be teaching this exactly in the free Telegram um, with the link that's going to be in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Very short, very concise, very straight to the point. And yeah.